Hey everyone, welcome to the 30th episode of Imagination Mega Park. Now we've done two full laps of the park by now. I think the park is really uh, starting to look uh, amazing. Uh, I can't wait to uh, uh, finally reach the moment where we finish the park. But that uh, will still be uh, quite a few episodes ahead. Anyway, um, I've focused a lot on all these different themed areas. Uh, I think now uh, would be a good moment to focus once again on uh, the entrance area of the park. Since uh, th this area has pretty much stayed the same since the first two episodes. Now uh, what I want to add in this episode is actually a way for the guests who arrive at the park to uh, store their, uh, their uh, vehicles. So for that uh, I want to build a, a huge parking garage. I want to build it here on both sides of the entrance. And I think it will uh, look great. Um, I want to um, copy this style that I used for uh, uh, this entrance section. So we will have several more of these towers, uh, kind of same with this, uh, this beige color uh, mixed with some of the green and basically the same uh, sort of building style. Now, um, I kind of want to work it into the landscape, so I'm going to extend the ground here outwards a little bit and then build the parking garage into it. So uh, kind of like the car parking garage was uh, sculpted uh, uh, yeah, out of these rocks. Now I'm, I'm only also only going to build the part on the outside. I don't really uh, also do interiors in this park since that would just be uh, too much work for all these big buildings. So uh, that's why you could also uh, imagine that the parking garage uh, extended uh, a lot further than it actually does and that it would be able to store all the cars for the many visitors we have in this park. Now uh, before we do any of that, um, I think it's a good moment to once again uh, name several handymen after commenters on my uh, previous video. So uh, that's what I will do first. Right here you can see the names of the five new handymen that I've added to the park. Now uh, thanks again for commenting on my videos and uh, if you also want to uh, become a handyman in my park just uh, leave some nice funny interesting comments and your name might, might also uh, be added to this list. If you want to see if your name is already on it you can now uh, pause or slow down the video and you may uh, see yourself in here. Okay, I think that was uh, enough of an introduction. Time to get started on the ancient parking garage. Okay, the first half of the parking, uh, the ancient parking garage is now uh, done. Now, uh, I'm super happy with uh, how this parking garage uh, turned out. I really like uh, these uh, sets from the expansion and you can use, uh, yeah, you can make some great uh, patterns with this. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm just really happy with how this uh, turned out. I think it looks great. I think it fits in this uh, style really well. Now I will still add cars to it later, but uh, yeah, I will do that once I've done both uh, halves of the ancient parking garage. Now I also extended the land here a little bit. And for this section, I also did these canyon walls just to get a feel for uh, what this will look like in the end. This is not uh, the final uh, land layout, 
Uh, I will still modify it later when I work on the Desert of Doom. But I think it's a nice uh, beginning and uh, yeah, it will show me uh, what it kind of will look like later. But yeah, um, so far so good. Um, yeah, I also did a little bit of landscaping here on the side. Not too much, kept it pretty simple. But uh, I think it also works pretty well. Now here at the entrance I put these highlights guiding people in and guiding people out. Um, I think that's also a, a neat touch. So this uh, kind of also uh, keeps it in the middle. Uh, yeah, it keeps the viewer wondering, I guess, whether this is a futuristic park or, a, or an old park or... A, yeah, uh, I guess it can be uh, both. Now, um, I will now uh, continue working on the second half of the parking garage, uh, which will fit here. Uh, yeah, it will mostly be a copy paste of uh, of this section, just a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, uh, shaped to the different uh, landscape that we have here. Alright, the second half of the parking garage is now also done. Now I used quite a bit of copying and pasting using the Scenery Manager plugin, so that uh, made the process uh, a lot faster. Now uh, once again, um, yeah, I think it, uh, it looks uh, really nice here. I think it definitely makes the entrance look quite uh, imposing. Now of course uh, a parking garage uh, is nothing without actual cars. So that will be the next thing for me to add. Now, um, normally I would build a track that uh, goes by all these uh, spots and then uh, I'd have to move the cars uh, into their spot one by one and it would take several hours. But these days uh, the right vehicle editor plugin allows you to just drag and drop your vehicle somewhere. So uh, that should make the process uh, a lot faster. So. Uh, yeah, I will uh, just build a ride which uh, spawns a, a ton of cars and then after that uh, I will uh, drag and drop them uh, into all these uh, spots. Alright, uh, normally it would have taken me several hours to put all these cars in their position, but with the drag and drop functionality in the right vehicle editor, uh, it now took me around 30 minutes to uh, put all these cars here. So yeah, that makes it a lot less tedious. Uh, I think this, uh, this looks fantastic. Now, of course, this is a fantasy park, so not everybody comes to the park by car. Some people uh, take their Raptor or some people take their submarine. So uh, I will just change uh, some of these uh, vehicles into uh, different ones.
All right, I've uh, changed uh, a lot of the vehicles into different ones, so we can see uh, lots of monster trucks. Uh, we'll see a log from the log flume in between. Uh, sometimes we see a roller coaster train. Mostly it's just cars, but uh, I just like to add some goofy stuff uh, in between every now and then. Maybe we can also see a submarine. <laughs> but yeah, um, all in all, uh, I think these, this uh, parking garage uh, looks great. And I think this is a wonderful uh, addition to the park and definitely makes the entrance of the park uh, feel uh, more complete. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do here is uh, work a little bit here on the landscaping and the foliage uh, so we can call this area here completed. <music> All right, with that, uh, I think the parking area is now completed. Now, I've also added an entertainer uh, to this bridge here, so I will uh, quickly name him after one of my patrons. All right, Swarmot, thanks a lot for the support, uh, and I hope you enjoy your spot in the park. Uh, now, if you also want a spot in the park, um, that's something which is uh, reserved for all my patrons. Uh, if you want to uh, support me on Patreon, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the video description. Alright, I um, added no attractions in this episode, but uh, I did get the entrance of the park done, uh, which I think is, is a really good uh, thing. Especially after 30 episodes, uh, I think the park does deserve uh, a good looking entrance. And this uh, parking lot uh, def definitely uh, helps with that. Okay, in the next episode, I think I will start another lap of the park and we'll try to add some new attractions in every area of the park. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. It would really help out my channel. And I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. Yeah.